Hey guys, it's Oracle, and this is the conversation with Oracle Beatty Smith. I am here. I showed up. I'm ready. I'm willing. I am able, and I'm doing it. And I'm so glad that you have tuned in, uh, that you're aligned, and that you are uh, eager to see what's here. Uh, there's so much love. Let me say that. There's so much love for you here. And I am bringing it to the table, everything. And anything that comes naturally to me will be shared here. Uh, I really feel that it's an opportunity for me to share my gifts with you, to share the luxury of my abundance with you. I grew up thinking that abundance was all about money and possessions. I learned uh, through entrepreneurship, as well as through being a mother and just being human, that there's so much more abundance in the world than money or possessions. To be liberated in other ways even makes having money and possessions worthwhile. So um, the abundance that I have, you know, right now is my gift of articulation to be able to talk to you about the things that really matter to us. Uh, where we intersect and where we unite, and the things that matter to us individually. Be getting to know myself, still getting to know myself, has been the most rewarding journey of my life. And to continue it without sharing myself with you would just really be a drag. And that's not the kind of life that I want to live. Uh, but I've I sense it, and I know that. Uh, this is the right place for me. So if you're here and for any reason it's the right place for you too, I'm so excited and I'm so happy. Uh, and I look forward to all the conversations that we have because we are going to get into it. We're going to talk about everything that matters to us. Uh, I'm going to bring what comes naturally through me. And I hope that you will allow me to get to know you authentically so that I can uh, also bring what's important to you uh, to this show. So uh, let's get started. Let's get going. And uh, thank you again for being here. So I want to tell you my intention and purpose behind, not behind, but not even in front of, but within. I want to tell you the intention that I have within this conversation and that intention is to discuss the matters of love, for sure. I intend to discuss love, and I intend for it to be the leader of all of our conversations. I believe that love is chaotic. It's not the image uh, that is always portrayed, the way love reacts, the way it emerges, the way it's experienced. Love is not containable, but it is the saving grace of everything. And I really want to talk about that in this conversation. I intend to bring the conversation of love into everything. I think that there is a need for a space where that conversation is like that, that love is leading that conversation consistently and constantly for, I mean, as a purpose. And I'm not saying that that's missing. I have not listened to every podcast. I have not met every a uh, human being in the world. Um, so, and I hope that I am not the only one making space for that conversation. I, I know that I'm not. I know that I'm not, but I'm intending for that to be what's happening here. The other thing is I really want to, you know, support everyone who listens by also having a conversation about things that are um, in the gap, right? There's so many things to talk about that are in the gap. 
And I'm not sure necessarily who will listen to this uh, podcast, but I know that um, whoever listens will enjoy all of the conversations about the things that are in the gap that aren't necessarily being talked about deeply. Things that are, you know, below the surface of the surface. I really want to get deep into our lives, into what makes us who we are, uh, into what is life, into those questions of, you know, really, who are we? You know, all of those different things will come up on this uh, podcast and, and in this conversation. And I intend for that. That is the point. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> That's the point. So I intend for that. And the uh, other thing that I intend is really to have the conversation about power. I really want to talk about power and the dynamic of it and how beautiful it is when it's activated by love, by the grace of love. Like I just... Ooh, like the idea of the chaos of power and how it interacts with the boundlessness of love. Like just, we'll talk about power. We'll talk about power, how it operates in our world. We'll be current, but we'll also look back. And I'm just excited to intend those things for us. You know, um, yes, there is self-interest here. There is something within me that is being served Um, I am interested in this. So yes, I am going to um, experience so much uh, beauty in this life because I am choosing to show up for this conversation. However, uh, you know, it is even more satisfying uh, to know that you're satisfied with the conversation as well and that there's something that is growing within you, uh, that there is awakening in your life that you feel connected and plugged in, that the truth is healing you and that the truth is loving you and that you are finding more and more ways to express that love with yourself and with others. This is you know, the goal is to really just spread the love out over any and every person that can be reached through this sharing of my gifts, you know, through this engagement into the abundance. I don't speak of, you know, my finances when I tell you that you're speaking to an abundant person, an abundant being. I don't, you know, use uh, my possessions as the metric system on whether I can believe that about myself. And um, I could have swore that I turned off the volume on this thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm not talking about um, any of that. Mm -mm. This is all about the truth of what abundance is. And I speak and I believe from the truth of abundance, not from um, the the status quo explanation of it, perspective of it, framing of it. There's no frames on on abundance. So uh, welcome to the conversation with Oracle Beatty Smith. Uh, That is the intention that's what we're doing here. Uh, You're welcome. You're very, very welcome to be here. Hmm. How many of y'all have just taken a deep breath today? You know, if you haven't yet, go ahead and do that. Just breathe in real deep and breathe out and just uh, relax your shoulders and straighten your back. Sit up in your chair, um, get more comfortable, move your neck, move your head. If you haven't done these things today, this is just a a real call just to check in with yourself, to um, center yourself in your heart and wake up. 
there is a need for us to constantly throughout the day check in with ourselves and remind ourselves to stay woke. Hey, wake up. Where are you? What are you doing? What are you thinking? What are you feeling? How are you engaging? Are you listening? You know, these questions of interaction with the self, these questions of self-inquiry, questions that, you know, allow you to be in relationship with yourself in a really connected and authentic relationship with yourself. Now, you know, do understand for any of you out there who are doing this and and know how uh, draining it can be to be, you know, constantly saying, wake up, wake up, wake up throughout the day and having to inquire. There's also some of you out there who have been practicing this and now you're in this space where you've truly merged with yourself. You've aligned with who you are. You are... um, clear and flowing in harmony, you know, with the duality of this world. You've accepted the world. You've accepted yourself. You have, you know, moved on into the abundance that is true about you and you're now, you know, on an assignment. And so we understand that there are stages and levels and paths and and, and experiences that must happen in order for us to really be able to uh, live in full authentic self-expression. We know that there is a journey for that and that it's different for all of us. And one way that I, you know, like to offer and talk a lot about on this conversation on this podcast is the conversation of really having a relationship with yourself so that you can have and build and um, attract really beautiful relationships with others so that you can connect in to society in a beautiful way so that you can be uh, a citizen of the world and not just your neighborhood so that you could see yourself taking up that much space and know who you are in a deeper way because you started just by saying, hey, wake up. What are you thinking about? Hey, what are you doing? What are you looking at? What are you talking about? You know, and just asking yourself and and letting yourself answer authentically and just hear the answer. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm thinking about not having any money. And then you can say, why are you thinking about that? (laughs) How is that going to get us any money? (laughs) Right. And you say, you're right. Okay, wake up. Like, even if you don't know where we're going to get the money, where I'm going to get the money, where you're going to get the money, we at least don't need to be thinking about not having it. And there's so many things that we do as simple as that, right, where we limit ourselves from seeing us standing in our abundance. We wait to go on our assignment because the things haven't showed up yet. And we're just thinking about those things needing to show up and how they're not there and all those things because we don't manifest. We create, guys. You know, I know manifestation is uh, something that is huge, and I even understand as I research how the magicians and, you know, the witches and everybody was just really frowned upon at some point and exiled and, you know, made negative at some point because of all of the things that they were manifesting. But, you know, manifestation is not necessarily God's way. Manifestation is a way to utilize our understanding to, you know, shape the universe. And that is awesome. But sometimes we end up pushing and manifesting things that we don't want. And because we know that we can do it. So what really I feel is the way that allows us to get to where we're going is not necessarily becoming these awesome and great manifestors, but to look at it from a a place of what's really happening, which is creation. And it's happening all the time. Manifestation lends us to think that, oh, you know, we manifest um, sometimes. We get what we want sometimes. No, you get what you want every single day of every single moment, even if what you want is no money. Because thinking about not having any money is creating that experience. You are creating that experience. It is happening all day, every day, while you're sleeping, while you're waking, you are manifesting because you are a creator. And so there's not this, 
you know, incremental sometimes conjure up manifestation as the way that the world is created. What we see when those things occur are more systematic type of systematic, you know, using the tools, creating in a focused way. But what I'm trying to highlight is that we're always creating. So even if you're not into it, like if you're not, oh, I'm not a manifester. Oh, I do this. You know, well, you are a creator. You are a co-creator in this universe. And so your thoughts and um, your actions and your feelings do reflect and project onto the mechanism that creates the world. So you all you do have a say so in in who you are in this the experience that you're living. You have a big say so actually in that. I mean, some may even say that you are the only say so in that, that everything, even if you are someone who's spiritual or should I say religious, you know, you even believe that based on all of the texts, that there is self-responsibility involved in this, but that there is also, you know, something that you're interacting with in order to be able to live the life that you're living. Some, you know, religions and some people believe that, you know, more of that responsibility is on that, on God and on that thing that you are in relationship with. And others believe that there's less on that, um, on God and more on the self. They believe it's all self because it's already been given at the set and onset of creation. You know, and if you look in history, I mean, it's just over and over and over again, us having this not argument, but, you know, all of these different emergent ideas about really where we come from, who we are and what we're doing. And so what I say is, OK, how do you really, you know, eat all of that? Like, how do you make that not so heavy? Oh, my God. You know, like, what do I do with that in my daily life? How can I use that right now? What can I do with that wisdom? How can I make the integrate that wisdom, you know, into you know, my mindset to even, you know, validate it for myself. Like, how do I actually do that? And I really think it's done in self-inquiry. I think that you do it at a smaller scale. You do it at the scale of what you are in most relationship with, and that is yourself. You, you know, conjure within, you manifest within, you manifest focus, you manifest connection, you manifest understanding, you manifest the things you create, the things that you need to have an excellent relationship with you. This is the building blocks of societies. You know, this is the building blocks of families. Is each person, you know, taking responsibility for themselves to be able to then fuse into a group of people that take responsibility. You know, and what I'm saying that we take responsibility for isn't necessarily our finances or any of that. It is just of who we are. We need to take responsibility for who we each are by inquiring within ourselves on why we're doing what we're doing. How do we do that? We just check in. We make a habit of checking in and saying, hey, wake up. What are you doing? And listening. You know, just making sure that we have this knowing that every day we have to kind of just stop and pull back and, and look inside. What's happening in there? What's motivating me? What's leading me? What's guiding me? And yes, it's, it's a lot, but you're worth it. Can you be worth it to yourself? You know, if you would like to grow and change and experience other things, can you spend time checking in with you to understand a little bit about what you're creating. And, you know, like, oh my gosh, immediately judgment comes in. Immediately judgment comes in. But that's not the exercise. The exercise is just asking and seeing and asking, is it what you want? It's not about judging. It's just asking, seeing, asking why and asking, is this what you want? And listening. And if you say, yes, this is what I want moving forward. If you say, no, it's not what I want. Asking the beautiful question. Well, what do you want? What would you, what do you want to be doing? What should we do right now to get there? And allowing yourself to be your guide. Because when you ask yourself questions from a space of awareness, you will get an answer. And if you don't get an answer immediately, you'll get an answer in life. Because you will create the experience that will answer all of your questions. 
we are co-creators with the most creative creator of all. And that's exciting. Life is exciting because of that. So I just want to uh, share that little piece with you. Uh, the show is probably about a 30 minute show today. So uh, let's come back together here in a moment and talk about something else. Thanks for listening to the conversation. I'm Oracle. Talk soon. Real quick, I did want to remind you that you are welcome to make comments, to reach out to me on social media, as well as to email me at evolvingoracle at gmail.com. I'd love to answer your questions on the show, to hear your stories, to even invite you on the show if you'd like to participate with me in the conversation. So again, the email is evolvingoracle at gmail.com and just put podcast or something like that in the subject line and I'd love to communicate with you. All of my social media is Oracle B Smith. That's Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And I look forward to connecting with you. We'll get back to the show. I'm back with breath. Excited still. It's funny, so I'm sure everyone's going to be like, oh my gosh, every segment, she sounds so different, but you must know that I take time between each segment and realign and rebalance myself so that I am really sharing from the luxury of my abundance and not from a place of limitation in my thought. I wanted to share with you just how special uh, we all are. I wanted to talk a little bit about special and being special. People uh, who know uh, know me know that I have in my past always assumed that I was special. I assumed that being special was the only reason that so many different things was happening to me as a young girl and as a young woman and even as an adult, it was always that I was special and that this was preparing me for my special day. What I've learned now is that it's not that I wasn't correct to think that I was special, but that I was incorrect to think that being special was making me separate from everyone else. Which, when you're dealing in identity and you're dealing with trying to have one in the world, uh, being told that you need one in the world, being taught about your personality as yourself, yeah, you know, separation is natural, especially when we're talking about how I am special. But now as an awakened soul, as a human being alive and in my awareness, I've opened myself up to accept the fact that everyone is special and that what makes us special is what makes us the same. That it's not what separates us and allows us to see difference that makes us special. That is what makes us unique. Difference allows us to experience uniqueness. It allows us to experience an emergent lifestyle. It allows us to be choice makers. You know, being unique uh, is where difference lies in this human journey of relations that we're on together. But makes us special are the things that we actually have in common. So if I digress back just for a moment on 
my upbringing and this knowing inside of me that I'm special, what I've always known about me is that I'm just like you. What I've always known about me is that I was made perfect. What I've always known about me is that I was whole, is that I was of God, is that I was made to create something unique. And that's super special. It's so special to be a being of truth, a being of mathematics, a being of science, and a being of fiction even, of story, to be a being of uh, a reality that I get to create along the way with an imprint of creation upon my life that I couldn't shake off if I wanted to. And then to be in an experience that allows me to communicate with others and see their uniqueness and and find ways to hold on to mine, even though other people take up so much space. Like to learn that that's what was locked inside of me thinking that I was special is just so amazing. Because I get to share that truth with you and allow you to feel into your speciality as well. Allow you to feel into who you really are. Allow you to feel into the truth of who we all are. Allow you to forgive some people because you know they're special. Allow you to forgive yourself because you know you're special. And not know in like the place of belief yet. Maybe not know in your thoughts. Maybe not know in um, your actions. You know, may, may, you may still have some work there to do, some questions to ask, some unboxing. But in your heart, you can know now. In this conversation, you, you have permission to say it. You have permission to know it. You have to permission to do something with it. You have permission to do something about your life. And I know that I am um, starting to pull out of the sweet space that I was in to share this message. And so I'll um, begin to conclude. Whenever I record these podcasts, my eyes are usually closed the entire time. So I always know, okay, when my eyes open, I'm coming out of that space. And it's time to wrap it up. But I, I really just, you know, wanted to paint that picture for you so that we can all go about our day to day really believing that you, we are as an I special, but that every person that you come across and that you see in your journey is also very special today. And every person that you miss, that you need to reach out to, they're, they're special. Do it. You know, every um, person that, you know, gets under your skin, see them as special too, as whole. Because again, the things that make us special are the things that makes us the same. And one of those things that makes us special is that we have the pleasure of being able to be divine and unique at the same time. It's a beautiful thing. Thanks for listening to this conversation. I'm Oracle Smith. Hey, hey, thanks for tuning in to the conversation. I hope you really enjoyed the topics uh, that came forth today. Uh, I really appreciate you sharing and um, connecting with me around the things that we talk about here. Uh, This show is eclectic. There is no telling the things that uh, will emerge as we continue to walk this path of enlightenment, of process, of ascension, of love and power and experience. As we do this, I could just list word after word after word of what we're doing here. We are doing so much here in our lives and on this planet Don't allow the mundane to trap you. 
Uh, it is important that we practice our physicality and that we respect the reality that we have chosen. It is also important that we be ourselves and who we are, are beings of God. Uh, we are creatures of nature. We are electric light bulbs in bodies with blood. <laughs> uh, but we are. We are more than blood and bone. Um, we are um, fire and water and light. You know, we are everything and we are everything to God. Uh, you are everything to me. And I hope that uh, you feel the same way uh, about your sister, your friend, uh, your homie over here, Oracle Smith. Um, I, ooh, I'm just really excited about this podcast and about what we're creating. I must invite you to be a part in whatever way pleases you. Uh, I'm open to your suggestions. I'm open to your connections. I'm open to you being uh, on the show with me. Um, I do record a, a video version of the show and it is available on YouTube. Um, my website is oraclebabysmith.com. Connect with me on social media. And uh, not for me either. Like, don't do any of this stuff for me, by the way. Do all of this stuff because it is natural. You know, like, please do not go and spend 15 minutes trying to figure out who I am on my social media. It's not there. You know, who I am isn't on my social media. My social media is on my social media. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. So who I am is here right now and who I am uh, wants to connect with you and get to know who you are. So like show up, you know, uh, let me see you like let social media be what social media is and let us be human together. So uh, I'm excited. I, I know that I'll hear from you and uh, you'll hear from me too. So until next time, please take care of yourself. Move forward. Live differently. I love you.